So we implemented the Integra financial system in June 2016. So we've had it in place for almost three years now. We went through a, a procurement process to um, choose the Capita solution and Capita scored most highest in terms of its functional requirements and how best it met our fit. We signed up with Capita in October 2015 and we took it from there. We um, agreed a project team on both sides. So a project team on the Capita side and a project team on the Dublin Port Company side. And we commenced the implementation then starting in November 2015. When we commenced with the project, we had an initial challenge that we had to meet a legislative change relating to SEPA, the Single European Payments Area, by February 2016. So we had hoped that we might be able to go live to achieve that target date, but it was too optimistic. So therefore we had to have an interim solution. So we had to use Integra before go live to create a payment file to send to our bank. We had to interface with our computerized maintenance management system. So we had to have a, a three-party team with Capita, Dublin Port Company and the maintenance system provider to try and develop a very complicated interface where the maintenance system could generate requisitions talk to, to Integra, Integra could send purchase orders back to the maintenance system and this is all done simultaneously, uh, updated every five minutes. So that was a key challenge and that was quite complicated. So we're now monitoring all our spend and we've created a, a separate compliance for every time a purchase order generates a purchase request, they have to confirm their compliance with the um, procurement policy. And we're using the system to attach all the supporting evidence like tender documents, three quotes and, and, and so on. So we have to continually, we had to adapt to that and have that in place within a matter of months. And we have to continually adapt to changing requirements. And luckily Capita and Integra are very much on board with the public sector requirements and commit to respond to any legislative changes and provide them with their updates.